that was kind of the physical struggle that you expected this one to be? I mean, we go into every single game expecting a dogfight. We don't go into games thinking we're going to blow guys out. Obviously, the Saints are a really good football team, but they've been a really good football team in this league for a while. No matter what quarterback they have in there, we understood that their defense was going to play pretty well, and we had to match their defense. So uh, just proud that we got a win today. You know, we just found a way to get a win. Another situation for, for you guys, Kevin, where you're kind of the backs against the wall, have to make a big stand there near the goal line. How confident are you guys in those types of situations? We're super confident because we put it on film before. We've done it plenty of times, getting stops down there. I mean, we could have been a lot better in the red zone, though. I think it was three for four or something like that. Gave them touchdowns in the red zone. Uh, could have been a little bit better on third downs as well. But uh, these things we're going to get fixed. We'll get corrected. And But like I said, man, when it comes to those those tight situations where we got to get a stop, uh, there's no panic on the, on the field, no panic on the sideline. Uh, we just keep defending every blade of grass. Any questions, the personal foul call that they put on you there on that last drive? Didn't seem like it was anything egregious. Yeah, I mean, I didn't feel like it, but I mean, obviously, I got to see the replay, watch the film. I didn't really, I wasn't really thinking about it like that on the field. I was just thinking like, man, um, it's a bad play or a bad penalty for me on the, with the defense and uh, giving them uh, some good field position. So, um, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, I don't get fined, but, you know, it is what it is. Is it starting to get to the point where you guys like relish these mucky, dirty type of uh, games that you keep getting involved in? I mean, honestly, man, we don't want them to be like that. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, we understand that we've been battle tested. We understand what kind of defense we have. Before that last drive, we just on the sideline saying, "Hey, you I mean this is what this is about being greatness? You know, we're talking about being a great team, uh, trying to have a great record, trying to keep winning games." These are the type of situations that we got to go out there and play well. Obviously, they drove the ball down, but we end up getting the stops that we needed to get, uh, especially in that two-point conversion. Dylan Cole comes off the practice squad to arguably make the biggest play of this game uh, outside of the two-point conversion. No, right. I mean, what's, what is it with the culture of this team that, that this type of thing seems to happen each week? Because we talk about it all the time. It's, it's stuff that we stress that, you know, if you have a jersey on and you got to go out there and make a play, uh, we're expect, we have high expectations for everybody on the field. So when we don't make a play, uh, we got to hold each other accountable. So I'm just proud of him, dude, like you said, man, being in a tough situation. I think last, last week when he came out to L.A., uh, he was in L.A., had to fly to Nashville. We flew right back to L.A., just, you know, just being ready and prepared for the moment. Uh, just proud of him to make a play. KB, it was Christian's first game in, in several weeks. Just what did you see out of him? He was, you know, part of that thought you guys Yeah, had. I mean, I think he made a lot of plays today. Uh, for a guy that, like you said, had been off the field for a while, uh, you expect that he's going to go out there and have to knock some rust off. But I think that he played pretty well, played physical, uh, made some plays for us. So we, we're going to need to continue or need to see Christian continue to make those plays because we feel like he could be a great corner for us. Raymond was talking about these Wednesday uh, team meetings where he sort of tells everybody, you know, everybody in here should be ready to play in the game, which I know probably coach says that every week. But right. that take on more meaning for this team this year, given all the guys you guys have, have had to try it out there? Yeah, man. It's uh, – I feel like it's a long time coming as far as, you know, we played, what, 10 games straight or whatever. Uh, but we understand that, you know, every team in the league is dealing with injuries. We're not going to use that as a crutch or an excuse. The reason why guys can't make plays, uh, that's why we're in meeting rooms, especially in DB room. Uh, we understand that usually everybody's going to play in some, some form, some fashion. So guys have to be locked in continuously in the meeting rooms, knowing what they need to do on the practice field. We're just trying to hold everybody accountable. Kevin, six straight wins, including four now in a very difficult stretch. How can you describe just how well this team is clicking right now? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it feels great. We understand that the past few games we've been playing against playoff teams, uh, it, it, it's great because, like I said, we've proven that we can beat these good teams. So, I mean, obviously, they're not handing out Lombardi trophies just yet, but I feel like, you know, going into these tough matches that we play, we can go in these games with a lot of confidence, and we, we're not going to be complacent. We understand that the confidence is not going to breed success, but – um, we just got to go out there and keep playing, doing what we're doing. And I just feel like we're battle tested. Big Jeff's got five sacks in two games. How much is what he's doing changing what's happening for the entire defense? Big for us. I mean, he's been a leader down there. He's been a tone setter. Um, we really respect Jeff and everything he's doing for this team. And, you know, we continue. And like I talked about it before, man, me and Jeff talk all the time. Like, he expects me to make plays, and I expect him to make plays. And I feel like for us as a defense to continue to have success we're doing, our best players got to play well down the stretch, and Jeff's playing well. You mentioned beating these playoff teams, and that's something you guys have done consistently. But how do you carry that over to next week where it's, yeah, it's a divisional game, but it's not against a playoff team Correct. to avoid those letdown games playing down to another team? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think that's going to be a big emphasis this week, uh, knowing the performance that we put out there against the Jets. So I think that we had to make sure that, you know, we, ha we have a lot of confidence. In our locker room, we're a real confident bunch, but at the end of the day, that's not going to just guarantee us a win. We have to go out there and play. We got to go out to prepare against every team because, I mean, it's a division game. 
So regardless of what the records are, they're going to go out there and fight hard. We know each other well, so they'll put a good plan together against us. So we had to make sure that we're locked in, you know, on, on all three phases.